member for Scarborough, Rouge Park. Sir, Canada recently hosted its first International Swimming Federation World Cup event in more than 20 years in my riding of Scarborough, Rouge Park. We welcome more than 450 athletes from 40 countries as they competed at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre. I know I can speak on behalf of our entire province in extending our support, admiration and well wishes for this successful event. However, some of our most talented athletes might not have the opportunity to compete internationally in events uh, like this due to financial constraints. Ontario is a global leader in athletic performance and we must continue supporting our competitors as they represent our province and country. Speaker, can the Minister of Tourism, Sports and Culture please share with the House what assistance our government is offering to help our athletes as they represent us on the world stage? Thank you. Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport. I'd like to thank the member for Scarborough Rouge Park and yes, I can. Uh, <laughs> Our government is investing more than $6.3 million through Quest for Gold program to support high-performance ath high athletes. This program benefits performance in a high level and provides financial support for training, equipment, facilities, access to top-level coaches, those facilities, again, that they can work and train in, and every young person in this province should have the opportunity to compete at a high level, just like they should have an opportunity at some day to buy a home. We want all our kids to have the opportunity to play, whether it's through our Jumpstart program or on a bigger stage with Quest for Gold. It's a privilege to be able to represent Ontario and this country on the national and international stage, and we want those opportunities to be available, Speaker. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Minister, for the response. Supporting Ontario's athletes show the world that when it comes to sports, we are among the best places to train, compete, and play. Ontario has long been a leading destination for major sports and entertainment events. I appreciate that we are investing in our local talent and hosting events like the International Swimming Federation World Cup, which draws athletes families and fans to our province are from across the world. Speaker, can the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport please elaborate what our government is doing to support national and international sports events that take place in Ontario? Minister. Speaker, again, thanks for the great question. Uh, Ontario's sport hosting program brings major summer and winter sporting events to the province, such as the Fina, Fina Swimming World Cup Championships supported by us to the tune of $300,000. We're providing nearly $900,000 to support 14 national and international sport events in 16 host cities across Ontario this year and next, building legacies in communities and building young people and the communities along with it. These events will contribute to more than $17 million to communities across Ontario that feature more than 4,600 athletes. Applications are now open, so I would encourage Indigenous communities, non-for-profit organizations, municipalities to go ahead and submit proposals by January 9th. Together, we are making Ontario a destination to train, Response. to live, and to host. No one does it better than Ontario, Mr. Speaker. Okay.